don't really regard myself as an innovator, but I think not many people would in our field, but actually that's what we do all the time. We have to think creatively and we're constantly looking for new ideas that, to push research forward. So the majority of cancers start with a small lump or tumour in the body. And in the majority of cases, those tumours aren't actually a problem or life-threatening and they can be dealt with very rapidly. When it does become a problem is when those tumours or those lumps, those cancer cells start to spread around the body and that's known as metastasis. If we can find ways of interfering with that, then we could really have a major impact on uh, the survival of cancer patients long term uh, and in a broad spectrum of different cancer types. It's the first of its kind, uh, of this kind in the world, and this compound represents the first uh, in class, as we said, as an inhibitor for this specific protein. This actually is, a, is an exciting prospect because this means that basically we could open up a completely new area of therapy for cancer patients, very specific, very targeted for metastatic one. We took an interesting target and we were able to work on that in terms of doing some drug design, some computational modelling and then design molecules which might be able to inhibit that target and ultimately prevent the, the cancer spread. We worked in the chemistry lab to, to produce uh, new test candidate drugs which and one of them turned out to, to work very well so at that point we we went through a, a commercialization strategy to raise further money to, to do more development work on that. I think where we've been extremely fortunate uh, but also through hard work is finding uh, an extremely collaborative and helpful commercial partner who's prepared to take on a project like this at early stage with relatively high risk. So we hope the clinical trial will take place within the next 12 months. Uh, we, we anticipate and hope that that will be centred in Cardiff. So that's where we start with uh, a drug that's never been into a patient before. And uh, we, we start at a low dose and then do what we call dose escalation. And then we start to then look at specific groups, uh, those cancers which are known to be metastatic and focus our, our efforts on, on those patients. I think the key is collaboration. You can't work in isolation anymore. The fields are too complicated to tackle as one entity and I think that's what Cardiff University has offered to me and to my colleagues is the ability for us to collaborate across uh, departments and I think that's been uh, one key aspect of the uh, innovative approach that has uh, culminated out of that collaboration. <laughs>